GCF and LCM. Diniscuss ko na rin to kahapon. Uulitin ko ba or magsasagot lang ng examples? Sino yung nandito ngayon tapos wala kahapon and gustong ulitin? Ulitin ba? Yes or no? Chat please. Yes. Ulit pa. Okay, sige. Ulitin natin. Okay na. Ulitin na natin. GCF and LCM. So, let's start with... Saan yung mouse ko? Greatest common factor. So, ang greatest common factor natin is yung largest value among the common factors ng ating set of numbers. So, or in other words, ito yung product ng ating, hindi ko na naman na-edit, ng ating prime factors that are common to all numbers. Okay? So, ay, sandali guys, ibang PowerPoint na lang yung open ko kasi, okay. Sige, nasabi ko na to. So, greatest common factor, another way to think about it is greatest common divisor. Okay, so guys, kunwari may mga multiple choices, so pinapahanap kayo ng greatest common factor, greatest uh, or multiple. Minsan kasi, syempre, minsan pag automatic na siya, ay, ito yung mga multiples niya, ito yung mga greatest, ay, ito yung mga factors niya. So, minsan napapaghalo, nakoconfuse. So, one, another way to think about it is kapag greatest common factor, yung greatest common factor natin should be should either be equal to one of the numbers or less than the biggest number sa group. Okay, bawal siyang mas malaki kasi factor nga lang siya. Pag multiple, dapat either equal or mas malaki kasi multiple siya. Ito, for example, kapag may tanong tayo, what is the greatest common factor of 18 and 12? So, one method is the listing method. So, dinidiscuss ko lang to for the sake of discussion. Pero, more or less, hindi nyo naman ito gagawin kasi lalo na if you're dealing with big, bigger numbers kasi impractical siya. So, 18 and 12, um, kapag listing method, ililist, basically, from the word itself, ililista mo yung common factors niya. So, for example, 18, ang, ang factors niya are 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6. May iba pa ba? Wala na. So, nalista mo na lahat ng factors niya. How about 12? Ang factors ng 12 ay 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Okay? So, nalista mo na rin. Now, what you're gonna do is, i-compare mo yung factors ng 18 and 12, and titignan mo kung ano yung pare-pareho. We have 1, we have 2, meron tayong parehong 6, may pareho tayong 3. Ano yung greatest sa kanila? Ang greatest is, or may pinakamalaking value is 6. Kaya, ang greatest common factor ng 18 and 12 is, 6. Okay? Next naman na method is yung prime factorization. Kaya natin siya diniscuss. So, if gagamitin niyo yung factor 3 on your own, o kaya yung upside down division method, um, pwede niyo makuha yung sagot. For example, 18, ang prime factors niya is 2 times 3 times 3. Guys, patsinin niyo yung pinagkaiba. Kanina nakalista siya, kaya kama yung meron ka doon. Ngayon, may multiplication ka. Kasi yung prime factors niya is 2 times 3 times 3. How about 12? Prime factors niya is 2 times 2 times 3. So dito, titignan mo ka ano yung common factors niya. Ang common factors niya is 2 and then 3. Okay, so to get the greatest common factor, multiply mo lang yung common factors nila. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So as you can see, pareho yung sagot dapat. How about least common multiple? The number with the least value among the common multiples of a set of numbers. Ano ba yung multiple? For example, if we have number 9, ang multiples ng 9 is 9, 18, 27, 36. Pagdating sa least common multiples mo, sahanapin mo dun yung pinaka maliit. Okay? So for example, what is the LCM or least common multiple of 18 and 12? So gamitin mo na natin ang listing method. Multiples of 8 are 18. Kasi 18 times 1, 18 times 2 is 36. 18 times 3 is 54. So, marami kang multiples, okay? Pero let's stop at 54 muna. How about 12? And what are the multiples of 12? Sorry. 12, 24, 36, 48, and so on. Pero since dito, makikita mo nang meron kang common multiple, titigil ka na. So, we have 36. The least common multiple of 18 and 12 is 36. Sorry, ha, nagchat-chat kayo, pero hindi ko nakakita yung chat. Okay, next would be 
LCM of 18 and 12 again, pero using prime factorization. So, kaya ako ginagamit yung the same number, guys, para nakikita nyo kung, kung, paano nyo, kung ano yung difference ng methods. Okay? So, here, let's use prime factorization. Ang prime factors ng 18, kinuha ko lang from kanina, 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3. Sa 12 naman, 2 times 3 times 2. Okay? So again, i-take note mo yung common factors and i-take mo, take note mo naman yung factors na hindi common sa dalawa. Ang common is 2 times 3, tapos ang hindi common is another 3 and another 2. Okay? So ang gagawin mo, pag common na siya sa dalawa, once mo lang siya gagamitin pag nag-solve ka ng LCM. So, for example here, yung 2 and 3, common na siya sa 18 and 12. So kaya sinulat ko dito 2 times 3. Hindi ko isusulat na 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 2, okay? Once mo lang gagamitin yung 2 times 3. Kasi madodoble siya. So, hindi na siya magiging list na multiple. Okay. So, yung 3 galing siya sa 18. Yung 2 na isa galing naman sa 12. Nakafollow ba doon? Okay. So, if we multiply these, we will get 36. Paano naman pag upside down division method? So, ito talaga emphasize ko kasi ito, ito yung preference ko pag nagsasolve. Kasi mas practical siya, mas straightforward siya. What is the greatest common factor and least common multiple of 18 and 12? Okay, naalala niyo pa ba yung upside down division from earlier? Sulat natin yung 18 and 12. Ano yung common factors nila? Pareho silang divisible by 2. Pwede ka rin mag-start with 3. Pero let's say 2. So since they're bo both divisible by 2, divide natin sila pareho by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Okay? Kuha naman to. 9 and 6, common factor nila ay, anong common factor nila? 3. So divide both by 3, we will get 3 and 2. Yung 3 at 2, may common factors pa ba? Wala na. Okay? So saan dito yung GCF natin? Ang GCF natin dito is, ito, yung nasa left. Okay? So GCF is equal to 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So tama ba? Ito rin yung nakuha natin kanina, right? How about our LCM? Okay, LCM. It starts with letter L. So, i-remember nyo lang para siyang may L shape dito. Okay, ito yung ating LCM. LCM is equal to, mali yung PowerPoint ko, sumobra ko ng 3 dyan. LCM is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 times 2. Ignore yung isang 3. Which is equal to 36. Okay, so remember, di ba kanina, 36 din yung sagot? Kaya, for me, mas maganda yung upside down division method. And actually, if you're looking for GCF and LCM, take note of this, guys. Hindi kailangan na prime factors yung ilagay nyo, ha? When you're dealing with GCF and LCM, hindi kailangan na prime factors yung ginagamit nyo pang divide. Okay? So, kung kaya nyo, kung nakikita nyo na agad na, ah, divisible siya by 6, 6 na agad ilagay nyo para mas mabilis. Okay? Nakuha ba yung sinabi ko bago lang? Yung about na hindi kailangan prime factors, kapag GCF and LCM, guys, kapag GCF and LCM lang, ha? Um, clarify ko, pag yun yung hinahanap. Siyempre, pag prime factors yung hinahanap, kailangan prime factors. Okay? So, para mas madali. Pero, yun nga, yung maganda kasi dito is kapag hirap ka mag-divide, pwede ka mag-start with smaller numbers. Okay. Mag-example tayo. Can anyone give me two numbers? Kukunan natin ng GCF. Uh, question na lang pala muna. Do you want me to use yung lahat ng methods or mag-stick na lang tayo sa upside down na lang tayo, di ba? Kasi mas madali. Okay, shortest way. Very good. Sige, uh, let's start yung sa nauna. 28 and 21. Uh, guys, mag-unmute kayo unless may ingay sa bahay nyo. 28 and 21 is divisible by 7. Seven. Okay? 28 divided by 7, 4. 21 divided by 7, 3. 3. Okay, yung 4 and 3, may common factors pa ba? Wala na. Four, Wala na. Okay, four. what's the GCF? 5, 4. What's the GCF? Uh, 7. Ito lang. 7. Yes. Okay? 7. How about your LCM? 7 It is 7 four. times 4 times 3. Times 4 times 3. Which is? 84. 84. Four. 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 7 times 4, 28. Four. Lang yan, ha? 28 times 3, 84. Okay? Our next example. One more na dalawang numbers. Lakihan natin. Para marami tayong... Para kumari. 
Type, type niya yung example. Hindi ko yung maintindihan. Eight hundred and four hundred ten. Okay? Ano naman yung sobrang haba? Okay, divisible by ten. Two. Ang tagal mag-two. And forty-one. Okay? Next. Eighty and forty-one. Divisible by wala yung mata. So, ang GCF natin is ten. Ten. Ang ating LCM is 10 times 80 times 80 times 41 or 800 times 41. Solve nyo nga. 32,800. 32,800. This time, let's try three numbers. 168, 180, and 100. 3,024. Okay? Whoa. Divisible by 4. Usually, kasi pag may nakikita akong 8, sinecheck ko na lahat kung divisible ba by, ano, by 4. Kung where, 6, 8, divisible siya by 4. 80, divisible siya by 4. 24, divisible siya by 4. So, ibig sabihin lahat is divisible by 4. Um, guys, kung nakita nyo sa group, sa mga hindi nakakaalam, may pinost ako doon na divisibility rules. Okay, balikan niyo yun para nagagamit niyo sa ganito. Okay? So, since divisible siya by 4, let's divide it by 4. 168 divided by 4. 16 divided by 4. 42. 4 and 2. 42. 180 divided by 4. You have 40. 5. How about this one? Divided by 4. 7, 5, 6. 6. Tama ba? 756. Nakaka-follow ba, guys? Pag arithmetic lang, huwag kayong masyadong ma-pressure o huwag niyong i-mind na hindi siya na-de-divide agad. Okay? 3. 42 divided by 3, that's 14. 45 divided by 3, that's 15. 756 divided by 3, that's 252. Okay. So next, may common factors pa ba ang 14, 15, and 252? Yeah, ma- wala na. Okay. So, nakuha na natin yung greatest common factor, which is equal to 4 times 3 or 12. Okay? Yung greatest common factor ng 168, 180, and 3024 is 12. Now, this time, paano naman yung LCM? Imumultiply na ba natin silang lahat? No. Okay? Hindi mo na natin siya imumultiply. Mag-continue tayo. Per this time, hindi nyo na isasama yun sa GCF, guys, ha? Para na lang to sa LCM. Okay, again, pag yung tanong or yung question pagdating sa problems is aning GCF, you will stop sa common factors ng lahat. Pero kapag LCM nang hinahanap, magkocontinue ka. So, for example, um, itong dalawang to, may common factors pa, di ba? We have? Yes. Two. Seven. Ito na lang muna para madali. So, 14 divided by 2, that's 7. Yung 15, wala siyang common, uh, hindi siya divisible by 2. So, ikakopy lang natin yan. 15. 252 divided by 2, that's 126. Okay. So, if you check, ang 126 is Divisible or not divisible by 7? Divisible by 7. Divisible by 7. So, i-divide pa natin siya by 7. 7 divided by... 7 divided by 7, 1. Yung 15 hindi divisible. So, again, copy lang yan. 126 divided by 7, that's... Ano? 18. 18 po. Ngayon, ano naman yung may common factors? 15 and... 18. Okay? So, divide it by 3. This becomes 5. This becomes 5. 6. Okay? So, since wala ng common factor ang 1, 5, and 6, makukuha na natin ang ating LCM. What's our LCM? 5 times 3 times 2 times 7 times 3 times 1 times 5 times 6. Okay? This is our LCM. Lahat ng nandito, sa left side, and lahat ng nasa pinakababa, multiply natin. Okay? So guys, make sure na wala ng common factors, ha? 
Anong four po dapat? Sana ako nagkamali. Oh, Ay, oo oh, nga. Bakit five? O, oh, diba? Sabi sa inyo eh. Four times three times two. Okay. Thank you. Four to dapat. So, the answer here is... <laughs> 15,120. Well, syempre, tinuturo ko step by step. Pero, pag malapit yung, yung exams, kunwari, two weeks before, three weeks before, itry natin yung may choices. Kasi minsan, hindi mo kailangan mag-talk, kailangan mo lang mag-eliminate ng choices. Okay? Sige, this time, um, para sa mga feeling nila hindi pa nila nag try to solve these. Okay, so for the GCF and LCM of both numbers, ha? Guys, GCF and LCM, ha? So, hindi kailangan na prime factors. Okay, guys, tapos na ba yung nag-try? Sagutan natin, we have 160 and 148. Divisible sila by 4. Again, hindi kailangan na prime, ha? So, divisible by 4, we have 40 and 37. Okay, so, 40 and 37, wala na silang common factors. So, ang ating greatest common factor is 4. This is already four. our GCF. Okay, how about our LCM? LCM natin is 4 times 40, 160 lang yun na. So, 160 times 40, 160. This is equal to 5,920. Okay, thank you. How about your next example natin? 27. 1,280 and 360. Example, what's our common factor ng tatlo? Meron ba? Two. I know. Nine. Wala. So, wala silang common factors. Actually, ang GCF nila is one. Zero. Okay? One. one. Okay, so next, i-continue na lang natin. Ano may common? Ito, tsaka? Nine. Ay, let's start with something na, na obvious. Itong zero. Tanggalin natin. So, divisible by 10. Copy lang yung 27. This becomes 1 to 8. 1 to 8. 36. Okay? How about, ano, pa, ano pang common sa 1 to 8 and 36? Divisible sila pareho by 4 muna tayo. 27. Um, 128 divided by 4 is 32. 6 divided by 4 is 9. So, may common tayo sa 27 and Nine. Nine. Common is nine. Good. Divide? Three. 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 Copy lang to. And then this becomes? Two. Ay, One. Okay. <laughs> meron pa ba? Wala na. So, ang ating LCM would be equal to 10 times 4 times 9 times 3 times 32. Okay. May nag-solve mo ba? Ito, 27. 27 times 4 times 320. Okay. Ang salam niyo yung idea? 34,560. Okay. So, this is your LCM. 